Hi, I'm Sean Pike with Rights to Water Engineering. And we're gonna talk about flumes to measure flows today. There are weirs, which overflow, orifices that underflow, and then flumes go through to give you an exact measurement of the flow. This is a watchman flume. It's designed to convey 30 cubic feet per second or 13,500 gallons per minute. This is a very flat ditch, so it takes a wide, shallow flume to do this measurement. Flumes are designed so the water has an engineered curve, so if it's measured at the correct location, you know exactly how much flow is going through. And for this flume, this is the location where we measure the depth. Measure the depth and it gives you the flow. Uh, this is designed with wind flume software, which with some uh, engineering expertise, it's free software can be used to design these. And they can be in a variety of configurations with sloped walls, uh, with ramps, all kinds of things. This one has an approach section so that the water uh, is stilled and has a nice pool behind it. Then there's a two and a half inch ramp, gradually rises up. Water goes through and spills off the end. In addition to measuring the flow, we have to record data. Uh, here in California, that's required to report to the board what's, what's diverted. This is a large enough flow, so the flow has to be measured hourly. And the only way to do that is with a water level logger. So in this stilling well, is an electronic battery operated water level logger that just measures pressure, which is converted to depth, which is converted to flow. It's a two inch iron pipe. It goes down with a small pipe connector, which comes into the flume here. So the water is directly connected to the stilling well. And it just sits there and measures 24 seven, 365.